Now, Rabbi Yaakov Ades, Shikhye, in his, uh, he has a sefer called Pirke Yaakov. And uh, he said once that uh, years ago, someone translated that sefer, Pirke Yaakov, to English and sent it to the Pope. Sent it to the Pope. And after some time, for the first time in history, the Pope of the Catholic Church recused himself, in essence, quit being the head of the Vatican, head of the Catholic people, surprising the world. Usually Popes are people that stay there their whole lives until they die. No, not in this case. And the people that were familiar with this issue said that it had to do with the book. Once he got the book from Rabbi Yaakov Ades, and there was a few conversations exchanged and, uh, and learning and so on, that's it, he left. So Rabbi Yaakov Ades says, what do you think that he saw in this book? What do you think he was talking about? Uh, uh, anti-Christian stuff or anything like that? He says that's not what caused him to leave. You know what caused him to leave? He says, because the Pope, like all other good Christians and Catholics, is committed to his work. And his whole life, he doesn't realize it's fake. He doesn't realize it's a uh, idolatry. He thinks it's real. So his whole life, he's been told that if you make such and such sacrifice, such as not getting married, reading this, doing this, you will have a feeling like you're on a different planet. You're going to have a feeling of exaltness. You're going to have a feeling of goodness. You're going to have this feeling, physical feeling, not just recognition and scholarship and, and, and wealth. No, no, not just that. You're going to have a feeling, a spiritual feeling that this turns into a, a physical feeling that is like no other. And this Pope, I mean, if he's not committed to, uh, to, to learning the falsianity, then who is? He learned it and learned it and learned it, and he made different sacrifices that the books of, the, of their false sages say. And years and decades of commitment. And guess what? He never felt it. He never felt any of that stuff. And what he found in my book, Rabbi Yaakov says, what he found in my book is that any person, any Jew that does what is said in the Torah, and some of the things that he mentioned in the book, anyone, not the biggest scholar in the world, not the one that has the best memory, not the one that's oldest, anyone that makes these sacrifices can have an extraordinary feeling within a short period of time. We're not even talking about making sacrifices for 10, 20, 30, 40 years, and then maybe you're going to get something. Because that's really what the church is in essence saying. If you do this for X amount of time, you'll get it. Okay, so you pass it for some time. Oh, no, no, you have to do something else. Okay, so you do that too. Oh, no, no, you have to do something else. You do that, something else. And the Pope got to a point where he said, I did everything and still nothing. Bupkis. He realized the whole thing is fake. Why? Because once he saw what's written in the book of Rabbi Yaakov Ades, he said anybody can attain this shortly. Apparently, he did a few things, and he felt a spiritual elevation to the point where he realized the truth only stands in Torah Israel, and no one else. Let me know uh, what you think. Make sure to share it because other people need to learn too.